Hello VR shoppers and welcome to the VR Shops review of the Pepo VR V1. This is an all-in-one headset, no smartphone required. For detailed information like weight, lens size, FOV, uh, processing unit, graphical unit, stats, all things that are, please do visit the website link in the description box below because that's where everything uh, is going to be. This is just going to be an unboxing and uh, basically hands-on review and having a look and see what in it can do. Not the stats and uh, uh, sort of technical things underneath it. So anyway, here we go for a quick hands-on review and unboxing. Just keep watching. Here we go. It's uh, oh, it's all right actually. Nicely weighted. Not too bad. Uh, bit of a bit of a shite box. And then mine. Let's uh, pull it out. Nothing much there. And open it up. We got a headset. Ooh, all stuck in there. In a cardboard uh, cradle. Should I just I just I just tip all that out? It's gonna be a lot simpler. There. What we got? We got um a two pin plug. About as much use as a chocolate fire guard. Uh, microfiber cloth, unbranded, boo. Uh, that's quite nice. Earphones, kind of a, a handy gift there. Eh? Uh, we've got the uh, USB to micro USB lead, and we also have a USB to a to a charger lead, micro USB. <laughs> there you go, so you can plug it in. So here we go. And here's the headset. I'll give you a look at it. What's it all for? Fair play. Let's uh, give you a look at it right now. And uh, give you a nice detailed look at the buttons. Always handy. I think there's anything there to see. Or maybe in there if you want to see it. And there. It's um feeling it. It's all right, actually. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot lighter than you might possibly think. It really is. I don't think um we're going to be able to do glasses. Let's have a quick look. Here we go and. Uh, that's a no on glass. Well, you know, like I always say, it's a no, but, you know, if you want to push them on, if you're desperate, you can wear them. You can squeeze them in there just about. But, yeah, it's all right. Actually, it really is. It's, for an all-in-one unit, it feels and looks pretty great. Pretty great indeed. I take it like these light up. That's a... Uh, power button maybe it's got no power has it got any power oh there's this the summit coming on yeah look at that cool <laughs> the lights do come on that's quite cool oh they're like changing color that's weird i'll uh show you what you can do inside of it later I, this is just like externals just for now and i'll do inside in a bit Okay, we're going to take our flashy little blue VR headset away and uh, try it on Maiden China's head. Here we are with it modelled on Maiden China's head. Um, it's classic three point. Uh, the straps are all adjustable. Uh, all the weight's going to be going here. But to be honest, it really isn't that much weight. Not much more than your phone in the average sort of mobile VR headset like a shine con or something like that not much more at all uh there is a little bit of gapping just at the side there which uh is going to lead to a little bit of uh, light leaking on there but other than that it looks all right actually nose room's not too bad and we're not going to uh turn maiden china's eyeball here we're going to have to uh get the screen to uh, appear on camera or something. We're going to have to do something like that. 
and uh, go through the menus and uh, show you what it's actually like to use it and what you can do with it. Okay, here is uh, the loading, the main menu screen, I suppose. It's uh, just from boot up. We've got a, a couple of options here. You can navigate through uh, via the buttons and OK underneath, which is, uh, to be honest, all pretty easy to get used to. It took me a while to work out where the buttons and that were, but as soon as I did, I was flying through it. So I'm just going to show you pretty much everything. you got settings, you've got... Uh, Wi-Fi obviously, Bluetooth, uh, normal settings, uh, if I actually, if I go back up, I'll show you normal settings. So you got the light, the sound, the sound is uh, oddly only adjustable here, you can't really adjust it um, while you're actually listening to something. So it's important to get a good uh, sort of comfortable medium here. And we'll go back. Uh, and down into system because I know quite a few people will want to see this uh, we've got system update system restore and about the device which I will click on and I'll scan through this let everyone have a nose and there we go there's your memory your storage your resolution uh, IP Wi-Fi Bluetooth yeah and that's pretty much it Let's go back, go back again, go back again. So that's what we got there. Uh, the apps are uh, what I can only describe as a sort of collection of um, uh, basic apps. Obviously, I've downloaded a few to test out a few. But that's pretty much uh, all the apps that there is there. And if I go back, I will show you more in a minute. There's a reason. Uh, I go into media and there you go you get a little uh, a little private cinema to um, to uh, to watch films <laughs> well as you get a private cinema for now because there's no um, no built-in gyroscope uh, obviously you're just going to be sat behind the seat watching a film so it's not ideal but hey it kind of looks all right, I've got over it. And that's all there was in media. YouTube, click on that. Oh, an error occurred, an error occurred. An error occurred. <coughs> so once that you've logged in using your Google settings or whatever settings you've got, uh, obviously uh, it's your basic stuff, you know, what's popular, what's uh, what you've watched, things like that. Uh, you can watch pretty much everything, including uh, 3D films, which is pretty cool. But what you can't view is uh, 360 films. That's that's a no-no. You definitely can't view 360 films. I'm going to say now, in case you're wondering uh, what the moving around is, it's because we just have to film camera on lens. There's no way actually into the lens, and there was no way to stream it. So that slight movement, it's just the camera. It's not got a gyroscope, I promise you. So anyway, uh, you can watch pretty much any uh, YouTube film that you want, uh, unless it's 360, obviously. But, I don't know, that's pretty cool. And it was uh, quite a fast phone feature, I quite like that. Let's go uh, back one. And then we go into the App Store, which of course uh, is your basic apps and games uh, from like a Chinese store. However, when I click on most of them, they go to, seem to go to in, uh, the Google Play Store. So I think it could be uh, your content has been acquired. All right. Maybe, maybe it's there somewhere. Oh, no. So what was that? Kate. Cat? No. Category. But it's not, it's not working anyway, <laughs> either way. Games. So is my games actually in there? No, no, it's just uh, just a, another category view. Let's put that down there. So pretty much all that you're going to be doing is on the apps is uh, 
going into the Play Store, and that's in here, obviously. You can't run VR apps, it simply doesn't work. And, <coughs> excuse me, unless you've got a Bluetooth controller, obviously you can't play none of the games. None of the buttons will uh, resort to a... Uh, resort to an OK button or anything like that. But, to be honest, most normal games seem to work pretty fine on it with a controller and that. It's... They really... I didn't really have any trouble at all loading up normal games. But like I say, it just can't load up VR games. Even though it's got VR written on the front of it and on the box. But still, never mind. But as you can see, normal games seem to load up pretty well. Uh, you then obviously do have to uh, have your controller ready so you can press the buttons and that. But um, overall, I quite liked it actually. There's a... Uh, Alright, it doesn't have the sort of VR elements that it says that it does. But in terms of playing 2D games and things like that, I was pretty impressed with it actually. And particularly games like this look quite nice on it. There you go. That's pretty much all the features that this can handle. Other than uh, side loading one onto a uh, SD memory card, uh, you're pretty much stuffed. So there you go. That uh, pretty much covers what this thing can do. Okay, welcome back. Uh, you've seen it modelled on Maiden Sheena's head, and um, you've seen the what it can do and things like that. Um, in terms of comfort, it's it's all right, you know. Um, I wouldn't say it's the most comfortable thing in the world. But it's it's pretty average, you know, for a headset that costs not much more than a sort of medium-priced um, mobile VR headset. You know, it's all right. It really is. You know, the memory foam thing, it's very much like um, the sort of lower-range mobile VR headsets. And it's about the same comfort as well. Uh, the sides did let a bit of light in, but other than that, it was all right. You know, it's light enough to be able to put onto your head and uh, and to rest easy, you know. It's <laughs> unlike many uh, other all-in-one headsets that can weigh quite a lot. It's you know it's not that noticeable when you're wearing it, and it really isn't. Not much more than uh, a mobile VR headset with a hefty smartphone in, particularly something like a, a Samsung Mega or something like that. So. You know, overall, weight pretty good. As you, <laughs> as you've seen, this is <laughs> it's a stretch calling this headset a VR headset, and it really is. It can't handle VR apps. Uh, it doesn't have a gyroscope. Anything like that. But what it does have is, you know, the ability to play your movies. Uh, with a Bluetooth controller, the ability to play normal two-dimensional, you know, games in it. Although, uh, <laughs> saying that, you can watch 3D films on it, but you can't watch 360 films on it, or you can't play VR games on it, or anything like that, which is a bit of a pain. And I'm sure, um, you know, some people would be able to stream their sort of PC displays and that, but without the gyroscope in it, you're still not going to get head movements out of it, which is a bit of a pain. But what you do have to remember is the price of this headset. You know, on GearBest, it's a little more than 50 quid. And for that price, I, I'm mind blown how good that this is. Like I say, it's, it's not really a VR headset, but it is a very high-end, decent pair of video glasses with the ability to play uh, sort of Google um, Play Store apps. A couple of years ago, this headset would have cost you a few hundred quid. Nowadays, it's cheap as chips, and if I was someone who liked watching films on their mobile and things like that, Wow, you know, this would be an excellent gift for, for absolutely anyone. And I really do think that it's, in terms of value for money, it's 
it's amazing. It really is. And I've, I've got to give it to it. In terms of B, how good a VR headset is, it's PAP because it's not a VR headset. So I hope that helps. I know that's a bit confusing, but I hope I've explained myself right. Anyway, for now, uh, I think I've confused everyone enough that I'm not just about to do it. Do remember to sign up to our weekly news that we are going to give away this headset and many, many others each and every week. And these few weeks running up to Christmas, I promise you, we got some massive prizes. The link to do that is in the details box below. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to see more of these headset review videos, then please do subscribe.